We'll do it again since I'm filming it now. Okay. All right. So here we are getting ready to inspect the hive for the first time in a couple of weeks, actually. Well, the goal is to identify the queen and to make sure that their comb is being built properly. First, I've already put a little smoke on the hive. That's more smoke. Taking off the upper portion. I am now at the inner cover. I just want to go ahead and add just a light amount of smoke under here. They're gonna get nice and active. And I know where they are in the hive. They're all up in this area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hive tool. And I'm going to get myself into this portion of the hive. important to separate it because of the propolis and with them being in this portion of the hive we get some good smoke going And you can hear them, they're all kind of mad. So we're just gonna set this very gently here. And here are all the frames, hopefully. Yep, Cam's coming over. All right, so we're gonna take off the frames that are the furthest away from the amount of their, their body right this second, that way we can easily take out the other frames without harming them at all. To do this, we're gonna use our hive tool to just pry things apart just a little bit to make sure that they're easy to slide. All right, now, set my hive tool down, and we're gonna take a couple of frames out from the edges here. Oh, this would be easier to do to adjust my fingers, but since I am still new at this, I don't want... Oh, looky there. They've definitely built some on. Yep. All there we go. Light. There's there's some comb. You notice that they're looking at the inside of it. They're actually inspecting it. like its head was stuck in there, but it's not really what's going on. All right, now, as you can see, there are several more that are currently being worked on. And they all seem to be building out from that corner. Yep. Yep. And these two are not wanting to move. There we go. All right, so now we've gotten towards the side where the bees are that we actually want to inspect. And you can see where they're actually starting some brood production here. That's good because getting caps like that, that look like brood production, that means that either our queen is doing fairly well or our queen is dead and they're just trying to make it look like it. <laughs> but so we need to identify the queen. That's the next goal. They need a little more smoke. Oh, that did it. 
Now they're mad. <laughs> Alright, so now I've identified that they're mainly building on the top here. I think I'm going to have to add more syrup on top after I clean the top feeder out. And here is what our frame looks like. Notice all the caps there. Same on the other side. No sign of the queen yet. We're gonna gently put them back in here. We don't want to lose any bees, at least as few as possible. Considering the high level of activity on this frame, I'm guessing this heavy frame here is going to be where the queen is. Whoops. Yeah, I'm not seeing her yet. issue. Right Alright you. We're gonna have to put this one down now. Okay, and check it out. Just getting little sparks and whatnot. It's not really smoke. Yeah, I need to get better smoke material. That's all right. I'm just on the last one. Hopefully I'll be able to identify the queen. Because if I can't, that's a problem. Okay. Totally makes you want one of those observational ones, like, like on. Uh, Sooner or later, yeah. Sherlock Holmes. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, they're really cool, but I don't really see the hey, queen Greg. yet. Where? Smoke them to get them. Well, yeah, I had to get them calmed down. I'm concerned. I don't see the queen. Well, there's been a lot of production. Surely she's there somewhere. Well, that's just the thing. I don't know whether that's capped brood or, or whether that's something else. I mean, I'm assuming it's capped brood because I see, you know, bees in part of it. Right. So, I'm assuming she's here somewhere. Oh. Uh. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Is there some I further guess. down in? Well, they're on the side here, oh, yeah. and it looks like they tried to attach this to the wall there. And you pulled it out. <laughs> well, we don't want them to do that. So, it's got to be a small gap here. 
just supposed to be enough for B space, really. All right, so we didn't find the queen, and we don't know. Okay, so let's look one more time, see if we missed it on one of these, because right. I know this is where... Well, that seemed to be the most active super. The most active frame. Frame. Oh, okay. The super is... The whole thing. Is... Okay. Yeah, this is the coolest one. My bees are fairly docile, if you notice. Mm -hmm. They're pretty, pretty friendly. They're not trying to. They're not even trying to sting my glove. No, they've been landing on me this whole time, and I don't have any gear. Yep. Still not identifying the queen. to read up on identifying problem queens. Whoops. Well, you didn't smush anybody. No, I didn't. But I'm sure they didn't like how hard it was set down. All right, one, <laughs> one last time we'll look at this final one, hopefully. I doubt it, because it's just not as as developed as the last one. Why would they put the queen on the less developed frame? Well, they're going to have the qu queen wherever the queen wants. I know, but then they'd develop around her, right? So it would be more developed. You would think so. It's got sugar up here. Mm -hmm. This This looks like it's brewed, but... I'm not finding the queen anywhere. Well, the queen would have to be at the nursery, so... Yeah, all of this should be capped brood. It's what I would think it is. I don't know. So but again, I, I can't identify We haven't the found her on this trip, so... I'm gonna go ahead and turn yeah. off the... Turn yeah, because it doesn't camera. mean that she's not there. It just means I can't find her. Alright, well, I'll try again another day. So that was our first foray into the search for the queen.